we're going to experiment with three things. We're going to experiment with QR codes, with uh, this spray adhesive or uh, tacking spray, and we're going to experiment with the weather. It's, a it's been a little bit rainy and a little bit windy, so we're going to see if we can paint under cover, but outdoors. So this is Dave, and this is paint how to paint a QR stencil. Now this should be a QR code for BayStencil.com. Yeah. Here we are. So we had uh, an easy time making our uh, making our base stencil URL into a QR code. Um, now we're going to try something a little more difficult. Now this is a QR code that encodes the text of a Shakespearean sonnet. And we're gonna see if this works. Uh, one thing I recommend when you stencil a QR code is that you very carefully mark the front of the QR code. You mark the front of the stencil so you don't stencil it in a mirror image because I don't think that, um, I don't think that your QR code scanner is gonna scan a QR code that is a mirror image of itself. Yeah. that's gonna be a problem. Now you see how I had some overspray or underspray here? This makes the stencil not very crisp in this area. And that's probably gonna be a problem. And now I'm getting a little bit of, this thing is starting to fall off, so I'm gonna hit with some more tacking spray. The point of the tacking spray is to hold the stencil very close to the surface so that you don't get that underspray. And I, and I let it, I let the stencil come away from the surface there just a little bit. There's too much paint right there, you can tell that that's going to be a really runny area, so maybe I'm just going to let it dry a little bit more before I finish this. Too much, too much, too much, too much. That's terrible. That's terrible. We'll need to do this one again. Mm -hmm. But we need to, keep to, to let it dry. Definitely too wet right there. I think the rest of it is good. It's not lined up. You're moving. Oh, it's trying. So we took this out into some better light and it still doesn't work. Now, uh, a long, like a 14 line Shakespearean sonnet has got lots of characters in it and that's really too many to expect to do on a QR code that's going to last. Our simple base stencil URL um, uh, QR code was a better idea. This one had to be divided up into two stencils and I think that it's actually registering these corner points but because of the seam in the middle it's probably not picking up the fact that these are shapes that make sense across the seam. So if I was going to do a really complicated QR stencil, I might take a different approach, but for an ordinary QR stencil uh, for a um, URL, uh, base stencil is going to produce a stencil that's plenty high resolution enough with a single panel that you'll be able to paint it all with one panel and it'll scan no problem. Thanks for coming out. This is Dave signing off from Base Stencil.